Hey guys, welcome back. As part of today's video, I'm going to um, I'm going to show you uh, the new features which has been introduced in Sitecore Ryzen version 10. You now, out of curiosity, I was just exploring uh, these features, so thought of uh, sharing it with you as well. So uh, I have both instances up and running, Sitecore 9.3 and Sitecore 10 as well. So let me just go to uh, the Horizon click on horizon here and go to the horizon page let me do the same for uh, Psycho 10 as well let's click on horizon okay so for those who uh, you know who are still not sure what horizon is like horizon is basically a next gen editing platform which has you know which is uh, uh, not you, you, you cannot say like it's a complete replica of experience editor right you know um, but still you know it has several different features which which currently are not available with experience editor you know um, like you have uh, you have analytics you know you have simulation then you have a different device uh, let's say if you want to uh, see how your pages looks in different breakpoint you have a device simulator there so all those different things you have so but yeah for this post for this um, uh, video basically it's all about you know just showing you what different feature from the features perspective what extra we have in Sitecore 10 right okay so so this is what we have uh, from Sitecore 9 this is, you know I haven't done anything on this instance this is what um, you know I think we have already discussed before as well so this is you know we just have pages and then you have here this is uh, the con uh, you know the uh, you know you are page uh, this is basically a complete dashboard where you have your information section here on the extreme right then you have your main content and then this is your kind of navigation view so in the navigation view you can think of you know it's a complete information architecture your home page and then your items and then you have your presentation page and partial and all that stuff but apart from that you don't have any other you know um, uh, option like uh, let's say if you want to edit some content uh, uh, because with Psycho 9.3 uh, from Horizon, basically you have like you had the flexibility to to change only you know the page items, not something like your shared items, data item, those kind of um, stuff. Um, and you know uh, if you want to create a new page, you can just click on this create new create a page, add page. You know add a new page will basically open up a component section where you will have all different uh, section uh, different com. Uh, um, components which are available for you to um, for you to use as this is uh, this also has SXA installed so you can see you know all these SXA components out of the box available here so this is what we have you know on Sitecore 9 and then uh, this is you know a different view desktop view then we have you know if you want to see how this page looks on the on the tablet you can just see that and mobile you can see that so all those different things we have then you have your insight uh, this is your editor this is your current editor then this is your insight you if you want to check how your how your page uh, you know uh, performs uh, over a period of time so you can just see that and then you have your auto save you can just you know see this one and then you have you know your simulator where you want to compare how your page uh, you know uh, how your page was there at one point of time a specific period of time then you can see all those things via simulator mode so this is what we have and then yeah on the extreme on the right hand side you have your uh, in, um, your information section where you can publish your page you have you know few basic details about your page like if it is uh, what template is based on when it was created if it is if it was part of any workflow or not so all those things you can see here now c coming back to you know um, site code 10 horizon here so the first uh, change which they have you know mm, uh, introduce here is so now we have option to manage and you know um, uh, update the content items as well so when I say content items I'm also talking about not just page items but your other you know your shared your data items right your data source item that kind of stuff so here if you see like we have you know just pages but here on Psycho 10 if you see like we have pages and then you have a content so pages is still same right you have your site tree uh, as of now you know um, uh, okay so you have your home page and then inside home page what different pages you have created all those pages will be listed and then your presentation you which where you have your pages and partial design 
so this is what we have and then you have an option uh, instead of having those separate buttons for creating a new page you have your create new here when you click on that you can basically specify based on what type you want to create your page so you can just select it uh, um, provided you know that option is uh, um, configured as part of your insert option so you can just select whatever template uh, you want and then just click on that and that page will get added there so this is one part of it and then um, so here if you see like we have an option add to page right so if we click on this add to page it will basically show the list of available components here right same thing if you want to do on site code 10 then you have this component section here so if I click on this component here and then this is your context page you can simply drag and drop here right so instead of clicking on you know like uh, how we used to do on site code 9 this add to page we we have this you know with, uh, this component uh, uh, tab here and we, you can just click on that and drag and drop your components so this is from the page uh, pages uh, menu then you have content right the content tab if you click here so uh, right so basically this content tab will give you the entire structure of your you know site code right you have your home uh, so when I say entire structure of your home this also belongs to a specific site because with site code 9 let's say if you're dealing if your site code 9 not 3 instance you have you know um, uh, two sites or more than one site I would say then it will basically list down the, the first site uh, uh, <coughs> uh, you know by design so so there is no option for the content authors to basically you know change which site they want to uh, you know uh, uh, manage but here with site code 10 if you have you know multiple sites over there you have an option here right in the in, on the right hand side your site selector and your language selector so if you go back to your site code 9 you won't find any such option where you can select which site you want to configure or which language you want to manage for that right so if I go here I can you can see right you have a baseline you have travel door and you have website so this website is the default website you know which gets created uh, by default so this is what you get um, initially when you don't have any other sites created there and the website will be def uh, selected by default and then you have a language selector here where you can select that which language you want to uh, you know manage uh, your content for so by default it will be in English and as soon as you add you start adding new languages then you will see all those you know um, language option select uh, populated on this drop down so for now I just have English Australia selected here so that's why I see English as default and then English Australia now um, if I let me just go back to the pages section and then um, yes so let me you know so this is the baseline site right so what I want to do is I just want to let's say if I want to do something for this travel door site which is the custom success site which I have created and it you know it's it is pretty straightforward site nothing much has been done there it just you know some, some sim simple text um, controls has been added there okay so this is my this is my travel door uh, site and then um, the language configured is English right so if I want to change something here if I want to manage this for the English Australia I can just select that and then you you'll find you know some differences there so maybe I you know I have added some image controls and things like that so that's why you see all that stuff but let me just switch back to English again right so you see right we have uh, the site selector here which was missing from your site code 9 and then you have language selector now if you <coughs> want to add something here like uh, I won't go into details of you know how to add those controls because this is pretty straightforward like this is how you know uh, there is no difference as such um, on this configuration part like this is same as what how um, you are doing in site code 9 or 3 also so let's not go into more detail of that but yeah from the risk text perspective um, on site code 9 basically you know we had an issue that uh, you were not able to uh, add you know images uh, as part of your uh, your RTF control right that option was not there but with site code 10 you know they have provided this option where you can you know just select some medias also you can have those links also there so you can you know just do all that stuff so this is also added as part of you know version um, 10 so um, yeah in addition to that um, um, this is also like all other features are uh, you know are still there like you have your selector like uh, how you want to you know uh, view your 
uh, page on which breakpoint you want to check it this is your editor your current editor this is your uh, insights you know how your page performed over a period of time and then this is your um, metadata information so this metadata information is let's say if I click on this content here right and you want to manage the content also uh, of your uh, you know of your data items or for your page item let's say uh, I'm to home right so I'm into travel door site Lang selected language is English and then this is the home page so now whatever uh, you know fields we used to get in our content editor the same fields you get here as well and you can you know just manage all those things you don't have to go back to a content editor and change all that stuff right you can directly manage everything from uh, from here so you know you have styling you have you know a styling section you have your designing section then you have publishing tagging all these different options we have and then uh, custom metadata see we are we we have not added anything custom here whatever we get uh, you know as in default uh, installation all those fields we are getting here right so it's you know it's very easy not just from the presentation perspective but from the editing perspective also that we can add we can update those field values directly uh, from horizon instead of going back to the content editor so uh, but this option was not there you know before and you know uh, we we were using uh, horizon just like a you know just like uh, as a presentation component not not like an editing component in in terms of changing some values for some data items and things like that so yeah and here you have you know your page details like your version your like date time and then um, the user who is actually editing the content and on the right hand side you still have you know those um, uh, details are quite common like uh, we had these things on cycle 9 or 3 as well your item name template workflow state path and all that stuff so all those things you can do and then yeah so this is you know this is what I find really useful because it was not supporting uh, um, uh, this one uh, multi-site uh, structure but now it has started supporting multi-site so that's that's really a good news and then you just manage it based on different languages also because you can have you know uh, multi-site and multilingual nature also so you can just manage you know how your uh, site looks on different uh, for different languages so here you see like your selected language is English Australia and your date uh, the user so yeah um, other ad other than that I think everything is all same like there is nothing much uh, needed there to explain you so other things you know I just you, you can just create a page just define a page name and just make it as test something like that so it's pretty straightforward you don't need you know a more um, nothing much there so if I just add you know um, some component you can just click on this and add uh, maybe just a title here let's say where it is so let me just drag and drop this title field and it just says test uh, maybe just just test and you can just do that and then you know it just it gets auto saved and then um, if I go back to my horizon right now if I go back to your content editor that is very straightforward nothing nothing must to show right and then this test was added and then English see as of now there is no the item got added but there is no version as such for now so if I go back here let me just publish it okay so if you see like I am actually doing it for the English Australia version so if I go back here and select the language so I see the English Australia with the title test here right so you can just even you don't have to you know create those language versions from here you can just do it directly from your horizon yeah so 
pretty much that's it uh, for this video i hope uh, okay yeah and and on just one more thing like uh, uh, so horizon 10 also has an integration with content hub which means all your media assets and everything can be integrated with content hub uh, uh, which uh, as of now i haven't done it but yes at some maybe in future i'll just show you how um, how basically you can integrate your content hub with your horizon also we'll have a separate uh, you know uh, uh, session for that but yes that is also one uh, but one you know feature which has been added with um, horizon 10 that you have in you can directly integrate your content hub assets to your site core via horizon and that is possible via a connector site core dam uh, uh, connect there is a connector which you need to have it and then you also need to basically enable content hub integration when you install your horizon 10 so that should be part of your uh, you know um, your installation if you want to enable it then you have to you know provide some details there so you can just update that so this is what you know i just wanted to show you and i think uh, uh, you i think uh, you got some clarity on what different features which has been added so if i have to wrap up uh, this one and just give you give you a quick summary of changes so we now have an option to you know manage uh, the content also not just the presentation items which includes your data items your you know your settings your presentation and everything else from this content tab plus you also have uh, you know you can create these contents you can also edit the contents like how I just showed you and then you also have a metadata view where you can specify you can update the values there all those things you can do and then um, you also have an option um, to select the site for which you want to manage uh, the content you also have an option to select the language for what you want to do that and then in addition to that you also have an option um, you, there are some changes which has been done on the RTF also you can select um, uh, the image field and in addition to that there are a few other things which has been added uh, on the RTF side so you can just check the release notes for that for more uh, for more detail and then um, the last thing is it also has an integration done with content hub uh, via a connector so uh, you know this is what uh, to wrap up uh, yeah thanks thank, thanks all uh, see you soon